Okay, here's my super quick review of the uh, Wright CNC. This is a 4x4 machine. Um, I received it on Friday. It's uh, Monday morning. I set it up over the weekend. It took me about four hours to get the machine itself uh, physically set up and then kind of worked off and on yesterday hooking up all the wires and um, hooking up the computer. It was super easy. The packaging was super nice that it came in. Um, all the parts are finished really good. You know, it's super shiny. I'm sure it won't stay that way, but um, yeah, this first thing to do is just put these bolts in and this rail on the two legs and then I did it over on that side. Had a friend help me stand it up, put these cross ones in and you bolt these rails on. Once the rails are on, you put these motors on either side and then uh, clamp this on. Check to make sure that the thing's square with the tape measure. Then uh, you roll it forward and check to make sure that these hit right here on the stop so that the gantridge is square. Um, pretty easy to set up. I found it on their website that um, to just rock these on with the bottom wheels being loose. But I found it easier just to take the motor off, um, put it on that way, get all the bearings set up quick and so it's runs real smooth and then go ahead and put the the electric motors stepper motors or whatever back on there and um you know adjust everything so that computer was super easy to hook up i had an old monitor and keyboard so uh, they sent the cpu already had the software all loaded onto it so as far as wiring the computer it's just a usb cable and this parallel printer cable, everything super clearly marked on the uh, controller. Um, you can see it's got the letters uh, cut in there. Just uh, line up all the right plugs with the correct letters. That was super easy to do. I'm using the uh, Everlast uh, 60S plasma cutter. Um, the reason I went for it was mostly for price and reviews. Um, it seems like it was about a thousand dollars cheaper than uh, most of the other ones performance wise. That was super easy to set up too. Just had to hook on the, the uh, water separator and the air regulator. So that only took a few minutes. Um, made a custom plug for it. You have to have clean air going to it. Um, I bought the one with the plasma torch for a CNC. Um, so that was pretty easy. As far as controlling the actual uh, plasma cutter on and off, this automatically has this, the computer port. I just had to solder two wires on to some pins there and that actually, it doesn't matter how the wires are because it's just looking for an open contact which uh, this sends to it and I was kind of worried about that but super simple uh, to control the on off of the plasma cutter um, overall I'm I'm super happy with the machine and the customer service and um, can't wait to uh, start making some custom parts with this anyway I hope you like my quick review um, thanks for watching